Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Dragon Ball statue. And by the way, just in case you're interested, I have a variety of other Dragon Ball related builds, which I will leave links for both in the card system and in the description below. Moving on to the tutorial, if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You'll need some red wool, and finally, grab yourself some orange wool. And those are the only two colors that you're going to be needing. Oh, and also, if you don't want to make it out of wool, yellow stained clay and red stained clay would also look very good. I'm sticking with the wool personally but those two would also look very cool moving on once you've got your materials and once you've figured out we want to make it i'll be making it right here you're going to want to kick off your dragon ball with this sequence of blocks right here do a single orange wall on the floor just like that what you then want to do from your orange wall is do two up left diagonal so that's one and two then go up on top of that second up left diagonal by one then do an up left diagonal. Then go up on top of it by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then do an upright diagonal. Then go up by one. Then do two upright diagonals. So that's one and two. Then go right by seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then do two bottom right diagonals, so that's one and two. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by five, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals, one and two. Then what you want to do is connect that second bottom left diagonal all the way back to where you first started and you should end up with a shape that should look exactly like this. Now I should have mentioned this beforehand but I am mentioning it now nice and early. So the front of the Dragon Ball is actually going to either be on this side of what we've just made, so this side right here, or it's going to be on this side of what we've made. We're not actually looking at like the front of the Dragon Ball right here. So just to say that again, the front of the Dragon Dragon Ball is going to be here or positioned directly on the opposite side just to let you guys know because it might not be entirely obvious until later on so once you have the base shape right here this is what you want to do next so we now want to do this four more times guys and the way that we're going to do this is this so we'll do one two three four and we now just want to do four layers of that just like this you just want to add four additional layers on top of that first base layer and it can go either way you want it can come this way towards us here or we could do it on the opposite side and we could have it like going that way if you wanted to it's not really massively important and what we're building up here is kind of like the center part of the Dragon Ball. Like, when we eventually get all the way to the end, and once we've built up all of the rows and stuff, once we've built up, like, the actual shape of the of the sphere of the Dragon Ball, we'll be placing these stars, like, on the front of it, which will be, like I said, that side, or on the back of it, that side. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to choose which side is going to be the front or the back until the very end, although you do only have a choice of two, as it isn't, like, a perfect sphere. It's um, you've it, it's kind of only the same on, you know, like one pair of sides. So like the front or the back or the left and the right. It's it's not perfect all the way around. So we're just building up these four layers at the moment, which is exactly what we've been doing here. So that will give us in total five of this base layer that we started the build off with. And you want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. So that is five layers in total, one plus four, perfect. That's exactly what we want, guys. Now, once you've reached this point right here, this is what you want to do next. And let me just adjust my plans, guys. So what you now want to do is starting on this side right here, you want to, in front of this row of eight that we have at the bottom of our Dragon Ball, you want to do a row of six just coming out of the side of the ball. So just miss one off of each end and do a row of six. Then starting from the left hand side here, this left hand block, you want to do three up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three. You then want to go up by one. Then do an up left diagonal. Then go up by three. One, two, three. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up by one. 
Then do three upright diagonals. So that's one, two, three. You then want to go right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then do three bottom right diagonals. So one, two, three. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by three. One, two, three. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals. And if everything's fine, then you should connect all the way to the other side of that original row of six. And you should end up with a shape that should look a little bit like that. Perfect. Now guys, it's worth noting that whatever we do on this side of the Dragon Ball, we have to do on the opposite side. So we're going to do this in pairs. Once we've done one thing to one side of the ball, we're then going to do that exact same thing to the opposite side of the ball. So come all the way over to the opposite side here, and we're now going to do the exact same thing. So first of all, we just want to do our row of six right at the bottom of the ball, right here. We then want to take the left hand side, and from this block we want to do three up left diagonals. So that's one two, three. You then want to go up on top of that third up left diagonal by one. Then do an up left diagonal and go up by three. One, two, three. Then do an upright diagonal and go up by one. Then do three upright diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Then go right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then do three bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by three. One, two, three. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals. And just as with the other side, if everything's went right, you should connect all the way back to where you first started to give you this shape. As you can see, whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side. Once you've done that, this is what you want to do next. So continuing on this side, this is what we want to do now. So coming all the way down to the bottom again, you want to start off by doing a row of four orange wool coming out in front of that bottom row of six. Once you've done that, you then want to take this bottom block, this left hand block, and you want to do three up left diagonals from it. So that's one, two, three. Then go up by one. Then do an up left diagonal. And go up by three. One, two, three. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up by one. Then do three upright diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Then go right by three. One, two, three. Then do three bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by three. One, two, three. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals, and if everything's went right, you should connect all the way back to where you first started, and you should have this shape. And of course, once you've done this shape on one side of the ball, you now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the ball. So once you've done that, you now want to travel through to the opposite side here, and we want to do the exact same thing. So starting off in front of this bottom row of six, do a row of four orange wool. Then starting from the left hand side, do three up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three. You then want to go up by one. Then do an up left diagonal. And go up by three. One, two, three. Then do an upright diagonal. Go up by one. Then do three up right diagonals. One, two, three. You then want to go right by three. One, two, three. Then do three bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by three. One, two, three. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by one. 
Then do two bottom left diagonals, and if everything has been done correctly, you should connect all the way back down to where you first started. And of course, we've already done this one time already, but you should have a shape which should look exactly like this. Once you've done that, we can now move on to the next bit. So what we now want to do, and we may as well stay on this side, what we now want to do for the next bit is this. So kind of one block upwards and one block outwards in relation to that bottom row of four, we now want to do another row of four, if you guys can see exactly what we've done there. So upwards and outwards in relation to that row of four right at the bottom, we now want to do another row of four. Then starting from this left hand block, we want to do two up left diagonals. So that's one, two. Then go up by one. Then do an up left diagonal. And go up by three. One, two, three. Then do an up right diagonal. And go up by one. Then do two up right diagonals. So that's one, two. Then go right by three. One, two, three. Then do two bottom right diagonals, so that's one and two. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by three. One, two, three. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by one. And connect everything together with a single bottom left diagonal. And this is the shape that you want to have on this side of the ball. Once you've got that taken care of on one side, of course you want to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So moving to the opposite side now, once you've done that side, we want to start this off with this outward and upward row of orange wool that we have at the base of the ball here, right there. Then we want to take this left hand block and we want to do two up left diagonals from it. So that's one and two. Then go up by one. Then do an up left diagonal. And go up by three. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up by one. Then do two upright diagonals. One, two. Then go right by three. Then do two bottom right diagonals. One, two. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by three. One, two, three. Then do a bottom left diagonal, and go down by one. Then connect everything together with a single bottom left diagonal to give you this shape. As you can see, the ball's really getting close to the end now. So, once you've done that on both sides, this is what you want to do for the next bit. So, for the next bit, you want to, starting off at the bottom again, we want to start off with our row of four. Whoops, I suddenly got rid of a block there. There we go. Put it back. It's okay. Nothing. No harm done. No harm done. So we want to start off with our row of four orange wool that is one higher and one outwards in relation to the previous row of four orange wool right there. And then what we want to do is on top of this left hand block here, we want to go up by one, then left one, then up by two, one, two. Then left one. Then up by three. Then right one. Then up by two. One, two. Then right one. Then up one. Then right by three. One, two, three. Then down one. Then right one. Then down by two. One, two. Then right one. Then down by three. One, two, three. Then left one, then down by two, then connect everything together by going left by one, and this is the shape that you want to end up with. Pretty easy to do, what we've essentially done is we've kind of like traced along the inside of the previous shape. Once you've done this on one side, of course, we now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side here. So coming to the opposite side, we now want to start off with our row of four orange wool that is, of course, one higher and one outwards in relation to the previous row of orange. And then we just want to start on top of this left hand block and do the exact same thing. So on top of this left hand block, do one orange wool, then left one, then up two, left one, up three, right one, up two, right one. Up one, right three, down one, right one, down two, right one, down three, left one, down, whoops, 
uh oh, down two, then left one. And as you can see, it's really, really simple. You don't even really need me. You just have to trace along the inside of the shape that we've just done there. And once you have this on both sides, we only have one final thing to do now, guys. So all we have to do now is just close up that gap that we've just made there. So what we now want to do is we just want to fill in this empty space that we have here, except we want to fill it in with a shape that is just one block outwards in relation to the actual space that needs filling in, if you guys can see exactly what I mean here. So we're now just filling in this space that we have on the side of the ball, except we're just doing it one block outwards in relation to the actual shape itself. So once you've done that on one side of the ball, of course, you now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the ball as well. So coming to the opposite side of the ball, we just want to do the exact same thing. We just want to close up this gap with our orange wall and the orange wall just wants to be one block outwards in relation to the actual space that we are filling up. So what you want to end up with is something that should look exactly like this, which is perfect. Now, once you've done both sides, all we have to do is plant a star on our dragon ball. As you can see from the front, it looks really cool. And from the side, it looks pretty good as well. It all looks nice and spherical. But from the kind of like corner views, it, it looks a little funky. It's, it'll do that. But from the front, it looks really, really cool. So choose a side for your star, guys. It doesn't really matter which one. It's either the front, this side, or the front, this side. It's kind of up to you. I'll choose this side. It doesn't really matter. And all you want to do for the star, this is just the one star Dragon Ball. You just want to do this shape right in the center of your ball. I don't think I need to explain this for you guys. I think that you guys will be able to look at this and just apply it for yourself. And bam, there you go, guys. That is the one star Dragon Ball. Once you have the red wall, planted right there, you have 100% successfully completed it. So let's take a look at this thing, guys. So hopefully you've managed to make this no problem. This is one of those weird views, by the way. This is where it doesn't look so great. But hopefully you guys have managed to make this no problem. Hopefully you like it. I really like it. I, I kind of thought that a cool idea might be to kind of have like seven of these kind of just scattered around your world. I think that that'd be kind of cool. It'd take a little bit of time to do, obviously. Maybe you'd even want to make smaller ones, but that's an idea that I kind of thought about doing for my current creative world. I thought I might just have like like seven of these scattered about, but hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you've managed to make it. Hopefully you really, really do like it, because I like it. This is my favorite view of it. I think that this is where it looks best. It looks really, really cool here. So... If you've managed to make it, if you do like it, I'd really appreciate it, guys. If you could give me a like, favorite, share, anything you'd feel like doing to help me out, I would just vastly appreciate it, guys. You know I love it when you show me love. I love love it. I love nothing more. I really do like, favorite, share, anything you'd feel like doing to help me out. Feel free to check out the card system and the links below down in the description for my various other Dragon Ball builds. I have statues. I have pixel art. Mainly statues and pixel art. That's what I have. Uh, feel free to comment down below. What would you like to see me make next? I'm always open to suggestions. And I suppose that that's it guys so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video